He claims two PhDs, but we found he only has one in chemical engineering. He had a career at Mobile Oil and holds patents in the oil industry. But by the 1980s, Stowe had taken a strange turn into pseudoscience. For a time, he promoted something called Eon Water, which he said slowed the aging process. And by 2003, he had created the Stowe Foundation to advocate unproven stem cell therapies. Michael Martin, one of the ALS patients helping with our story, had heard about Stowe from a friend. And before we ever met Martin, he'd already given Stowe a down payment of $47,000 to start the treatment. When Dr. Stowe said that he could reverse this disease with stem cells, you thought what? Uh, um. <laughs> you wanted to believe. How does Larry Stowe make believers of the desperate? We wanted to see. Steve Waters, glad to meet you, Larry Stowe. So nice to meet you. So we set up hidden cameras in Michael Martin's home in Houston and invited ALS sufferer Stephen Waters to pose as an interested patient. Stowe came in on crutches. He's missing a leg, which he says he lost to cancer. Everyone in the room knew about our hidden cameras except Stowe. Stowe had claimed what he called a permanent fix for ALS. So we gave Waters questions to ask about Stowe's therapy. So is there a permanent fix from the stem cells? Oh, yes. Yeah. You'll be able to... Exercise again? Exercise again. Oh, yeah. Well, if I opt for the uh, permanent fix, will I avoid it, the feeding tube? Will it keep me out of a wheelchair? Yeah, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, we've gotten people out of wheelchairs. Am I going to get closer and closer to some point you can say, okay, you're cured. You're, you're healed from this disease. I believe that that is 100% possible because we've done it with other conditions. I mean, we, we've done it with cancer, you know, which is just a different form of uh, tissue destruction. Did your mother have cancer? My mother uh, had pancreatic cancer, and we completely reversed her pancreatic cancer, and she died cancer-free with a healthy pancreas. <laughs> what, what, uh, what, what, what will it cost me for the permanent fix? That'll be around 125,000, because it's 50,000 for phase one. The stem cell transplant is going to run you around 25,000, and then we do follow up uh, uh, therapy after that to make sure the results hold, and that's a, another 50,000. Stowe told them they would have to travel to Monterey, Mexico, for the treatment. He said his research associate there would take blood-forming stem cells harvested from umbilical cords or bone marrow and inject those cells into their spines. Those blood cells, he said, would transform into nerve or neural tissue that would reconnect with their muscles. Is there a stem cell fix for ALS? No. Professor Sean Morrison is director of the University of Michigan Center for Stem Cell Biology. His lab is one of the world's leading stem cell research centers. So when Stowe says he's going to take blood-forming stem cells and put them in the spinal cord to create neural cells, what do you make of that? You know, we study blood-forming stem cells every day in this lab, including umbilical cord blood cells. And blood-forming stem cells don't make nervous system tissue. And then what do the injected stem cells do next? Uh, they start to regenerate new nerve tissue and repair the synapses. Stowe's incredible pitch often works because his victims have heard something about the promise of stem cells but don't really know much about them. At one time, some scientists thought that blood-forming stem cells could replace any kind of tissue, as Stowe claims. But science now knows that's wrong. Stem cell therapy is the standard of care in only leukemia and certain rare diseases of the blood, nothing else. There is very early research into whether stem cells might one day help ALS patients, but nothing like the claim Stowe is making. Dr. Morrison thinks breakthroughs are years or decades away. He says Stowe's claims are baseless. Classically, people are reporting 
uh, three to four weeks that they begin to notice the effects. Notice the effects in three or four weeks. You might notice side effects in three or four weeks. You described it as miraculous. That's what it would be. If somebody squirted some stem cells into the spinal cord of an ALS patient and they stood up out of their wheelchair and had a permanent fix, that would be miraculous. But that's what Stowe was promising in Michael Martin's living room as he weaved a pitch with lies of legitimacy. Are you currently working with anybody in the FDA regarding? Yeah, we, at all levels. Even the University of Texas, he said, was planning to build a research center with a particular name. Stowe Research Center for Regenerative Medicine in affiliation with the University of Texas. You can't find a surgeon in the world who doesn't support our approach. After hearing the pitch, Steve Waters and Michael Martin, working with us, told Stowe they would go to Monterey, Mexico for the treatment. We followed them there with hidden cameras, and we found Stowe's so-called research associate. That's Dr. Frank Morales in the dark jacket. In an email to Waters, Morales claimed, we have treated well over 1,000 patients without any side effects other than positive results, which range from minimal to miraculous. But we have found that Morales is improvising stem cell procedures for profit with no scientific basis. Morales is an American citizen living in Texas with a Mexican medical license. We got the credentials he submitted to one Monterey hospital and found that the medical degree came from a Caribbean school that was later shut down for selling diplomas. Morales dropped out of residency training in Texas. Morales and Stowe took our patients on a tour of the hospital where Morales was already doing stem cell procedures. He explained the techniques he uses. Uh, our team will go into a catheter and place it uh, right up close to into the brain or it will go into fecal, you know, right in the spine and, uh, and do other things, you know, that are pretty aggressive. Mexican officials tell us stem cell therapy for ALS is not authorized. The hospital says it didn't know Morales was using stem cells and wouldn't have allowed it. So we can just go right in and, okay, you got your stem cells, you're out of here. We found one of Morales's former patients, Muna Erickson, in Michigan. She has multiple sclerosis for which there is no cure. What exactly did Morales tell you about what you could expect? He told me that I could expect her to be up out of the wheelchair and walking. She'd get out of the wheelchair mm -hmm. and walk away from it. Mm -hmm. Erickson and her husband Keith are not people with a lot of money, so in desperation, they sold their home in order to wire $15,000 to Morales. The Ericsons say they arrived in a rundown Mexican clinic for a scheduled spinal injection of stem cells, but Morales gave her a stem cell IV instead. So he ended up coming in and hanging an IV off the tip of her thumb that was barely viable. Uh, Muna, show me with your hand, if you can, right here. precisely where that IV went in, right at the tip of your thumb. Yes. What did you think? I thought about taking my wife and taking her home, but she was so set on getting these stem cells. I think she would have had a complete mental breakdown if had I just boarded her back on the plane. Muna, did you get somewhat better? No. I got worse. Back in Monterey, Mexico, Morales and Stowe came to a hotel room where they met patients Michael Martin and Steve Waters. They were expecting to see another down payment, $35,000 in cash. But that is not what came through the door. Mr. Stowe, Mr. Morales, I'm Scott Pelley. I'm with 60 Minutes. What happened next in a moment?